welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our curious viewers, Shiny Shane 92 Thanks for the suggestion, Shane. You asked, why are gold and copper the only metals that aren't silver colored? If you've ever looked at a chunk of metal, whether it's aluminum foil or a steel spoon, they're basically all rocking the same grayish silver look. But gold and copper? They broke the metallic dress code. So why did these two decide to be fabulous while everyone else stayed silver? Let's dig into the science, the history, and a little bit of the weirdness behind this question, right here on Explaining Everything. If metals had a school, the dress code would be you must shine in silver or grey. No exceptions. Why? Because most metals reflect light in a very particular way. Their electrons are loose and free to bounce light back at us. But here's the thing. They're not picky. They reflect almost all wavelengths of visible light pretty evenly. When your eyes see that, it looks silver or grey. That's why steel, aluminum, nickel, platinum, they're all basically rocking the same boring metallic prom outfit. It's not that they want to be boring, it's just the natural consequence of reflecting light equally. So by default, metals are colorless in the paint store sense. Silver is the base template, the factory setting, the default skin you unlock before you start buying DLC colors. And yet, gold and copper looked at this rule and said, nah, I'm going to accessorize. So let's start with copper, our reddish brown friend. Copper gets its color because it doesn't reflect all wavelengths equally. It's a bit picky. It absorbs some of the higher energy blue and violet light, letting more of the red and orange wavelengths bounce back. That's why when you look at copper, you don't see silver gray. You see this warm reddish shine. It's like copper installed its own Instagram filter permanently. Now, why does copper do this? The answer is in the electrons. Copper's outer electrons require just the right amount of energy to jump between levels. Blue light happens to hit that sweet spot, so instead of reflecting it, copper eats it up. Imagine it like copper going, mmm, tasty photon, I'll keep that. And all the leftover red and yellow is what gets reflected to your eyeballs. The result? A metal that looks like it spends its free time soaking in a tanning bed while everyone else is pale silver. Now, gold takes things even further. Gold doesn't just tan, it glows. Like copper, gold absorbs some of the blue light. But gold has an extra twist in its back pocket. Relativity. Yeah, Einstein shows up here, and he wasn't even invited. Gold atoms are huge. They have a lot of protons in the nucleus, and that strong positive charge pulls the electrons in close. But those electrons are moving so fast, they're actually zipping around at a significant fraction of the speed of light. When electrons move that fast, relativistic effects kick in. Basically, their mass increases, their energy levels shift, and the way they interact with light changes. So what does that mean for us? Gold ends up absorbing even more of the blue and violet end of the spectrum. What gets left behind for your eyes to see is the rich yellow color that makes gold look like it's been kissed by the sun itself. Other metals don't get this treatment because their atoms aren't beefy enough. They're stuck at the kiddie table of physics, while gold is out here 
bending Einstein's rules to become the jewelry superstar of the periodic table. So if relativity made gold fabulous and electron energy levels made copper fashionable, why didn't other metals join the color party? Well, some do in minor ways, like cesium has a faint golden tint and osmium has a bluish hue, but they're rare, unstable, or just plain impractical to look at. Gold and copper are the only ones that are both colorful and common enough for humans to actually notice and use. Think about it. We wouldn't be obsessed with gold jewelry if gold had been another dull gray lump. And copper wires, they wouldn't look nearly as cool if they didn't have that orangey shine. These two metals aren't just rebels scientifically. They've been cultural icons because of their colors. People have literally built economies, jewelry traditions, and architectural styles around the fact that copper and gold refused to follow the silver crowd. So really, these two metals got lucky. Their weird physics gave them color, and their availability made sure humans put them in the spotlight. It all comes down to physics and a touch of Einstein. Most metals reflect light evenly, which gives us the standard silvery shine. But copper absorbs some blue, showing off warm reds and oranges. Gold goes even further, with relativistic effects shifting its electrons so much that it reflects that famous golden glow. So next time you see a gold ring or a copper penny, remember, you're not just looking at a pretty color. You're looking at physics itself, bending light in just the right way to create something rare. If you learned something new today, don't forget to like, subscribe, and maybe the real color was really inside of us all along. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where, and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.